central banks, regulators, and banks to uh, make sure that our solution is widely adopted. Uh, and which is why I'm, I'm actually employed by Ripple, which is, uh, so we actually work very closely with about 40 to 50 central banks across the globe. Well, I've, I've publicly stated that by the end of this year, I have every confidence that major banks will use XRAPID as a liquidity tool this, this calendar year. Uh, you know, by the end of next year, I'd certainly hope that we would see, you know, in the order of magnitude, dozens. But, you know, I, we also need to continue to grow that ecosystem, grow the liquidity. Um, we, we gave a presentation <laughs> at Apple, and they called it the um, Amazon Prime for the whole internet. So it takes them three to five days to get the payment where it needs to be. And, uh, you know, this was the case of uh, Amazon uh, paying merchants cross-border and taking weeks for that payment to arrive. And so now I think that, you know, in our pipeline, we have probably 50% of the market in India either integrated onto Ripple or, you know, in the deal, in, in, in the sort of pipeline to be signed uh, to, to India. And guess what? We're going to take that back to Wells Fargo and we're going to say, like, there's not a better way to send into India than <laughs> Ripple. At six stage, uh, I was in talking to one of the largest global money center banks on the planet, and I was talking to about our primary product, the FBI, called X Current. And it, this guy kind of interrupts me. He's like, yeah, 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 that's nice. But I have a problem settling into Peru. Can I use XRP to help me settle into Peru? There. And I, Ripple's also notable for what we're doing with digital assets in the payment space. Uh, we have, we've been trialing that now for about two year, two or three years now. It's going live later this year. We are, we are building out a very big uh, regulatory team. Um, and we're making sure that we're going around the world and, and making sure that, uh, you know, for the next you know, thousand customers that we want to bring on, which we think we can do in the next two years. Yeah. In Germany. Um, and we are in discussion with many of your banks, actually. Yeah. Now, uh, what we are doing in Japan is we created a consortium of uh, more than 50 banks to come together to develop a completely new payments platform. The piece today in the Financial Times about the, the battle between Ripple and, and Swift. Um, so Ripple is the challenger and Swift is the incumbent institution. You'll see this more and more because there is some inefficiency there. Uh, everybody agrees on that. It takes too much time to send your euros to uh, Slovenia in uh, Poland. And Ripple starting to offer better services around the traditional correspondent banking model. Yeah, the, the company in question is called Ripple, mm -hmm. and uh, Standard Chartered Bank decided to invest in it. Uh, as one manifestation of this, uh, Ripple brought together uh, about 30 plus central banks from around the world. Uh, we're, we're looking to the future. Right now, we're live with several financial institutions um, with a pipeline of 120 that we're working with now to integrate. Um, we're working with a number of banks around the world, about 30 that are actually using our technology to move real funds around. So very soon from banks like National Bank of Abu Dhabi, Santander here in the UK, um, Bank of Toko Mitsubishi over in, in uh, Japan, Westpac in Australia, you're going to see these banks actually using these blockchain technologies to service a better cross-border payment product for customers like you and me.